Hello, this video will provide an overview for faculty um, as to how to create their own certificate templates for Brightspace by D2L awards. As just a reminder, awards can be created in Brightspace by D2L. They can be badges or certificates. Um, they can be added to the D2L profile and the certificates, which is specifically what we're talking about today, can be downloaded as PDFs and saved or printed to the computers. Um, rewarding students can be used to help them uh, motivate to complete certain activities, recognition for certain completion or certain grades, um, a way for them to self uh, track their progress um, in a way to have a performance based course rather than a time base so you know you're you're completing these assignments and once you earn this badge you're able to move to this module once you earn this badge you're able to move, move to this module and this can be used in conjunction with gamifying a course so this specific video doesn't go into details as to how to create an award. What it's focusing more on is how you can create your own certificate. So if you know a little bit about awards, you know that there are some general templates that you can pick to use as a cert certificate. Um, but you can actually create your own certificate if you want to with your own branding, with your own information on it to really personalize it. So the first step would be to create your own uh, certification or your own certificate in Word or PowerPoint. And then save it as a PDF. Then you're going to open it in um, Adobe and you're going to add in some um, text boxes and you're going to use replacement strings and so these are examples of replacement strings that you can use and so when you do that um, the system is automatically going to see um, you know user first name and whoever is completing that award it's going to pull in their first name so if my name was Autumn um, it's going to pull in my first name and if somebody else is getting the award and their first name is Jane it's going to pull in that so that way it's going to allow it to be personalized um, by using these course strings and you can use it for things like their name the course the de the, the date that they are earned the award that kind of thing your first step is going to be to create the certification template itself. Um, now this might be something that you create on your own in PowerPoint. So this is an example of one that I made in PowerPoint. I literally just used text boxes um, and some images. So you can create one on your own or you can download one, a fancy one that's already been created through Microsoft or online elsewhere. And so you just want to go ahead and save this as a PDF. Notice I didn't put in blanks um, that I'm going to actually put in when I when I edit the PDF in a minute of where you can put in like their name, their date, the course, that type of information. If you go to, um, if you log into your email from the web and you go to these um, options up here and you go to the Word um, application, then you can actually search more templates here um, and you can find particular templates that you might want to use to make it work for a certificate as well. Another option is to look in PowerPoint. So if you go to PowerPoint um, online and you can choose to explore all themes and templates um, and it will actually show you PowerPoint files that can be used um, as certificates. So if you browse by category, you can find um, different ones from here. And you might find some that look similar or could work for a certificate. The next step is to open up um, the certificate. It's a PDF and you want to make sure that you're opening it in Adobe Acrobat Pro, not in Adobe Reader because you're actually going to want to edit this and you're only going to be able to do that um, in Adobe Pro. So we have our certificate ready. We're going to go to Tools and then we're going to choose to prepare the form. And what this is going to let us do is to add in additional um, components that will be able to um, auto-fill in as the student submits their, um, when the student completes the certificate, it will auto-fill in their information. So I already have some text boxes already that autom automatically populated and when you have a line in um, any type of document that you turn into a PDF, it will try to turn those into boxes. So these just happen to pre-populate. So here I want the name of the course to be listed. So what I'm going to do is I'll come over here to the side and I'm going to, or I can do it here and I can right check and I want to change the properties here. Because instead of being undefined, I want to use the um, the text string that's going to pull in that information. So I want the name of the course and so what I'm going to put here is course name. I'm going to put it um, under the name as well as the tool tip and make sure that you use the, bra uh, the, the braces here and that's how it's going to know that it is a replacement string. So we have the course name for the date 
I want to go to this one and it will be over here on the side do properties and change it here to where it is award date oops um, award date and then I want to make sure that you have it that you have it for both the name and the tooltip as the award date now I want to add in their name here um, that was not a text box that was already added but I can add this up here by coming to add a text field and I can put this right here and I can expand this out um, same thing properties and then I'm going to use my replacement um, string and in this case I want to use the full name that's going to make it easier for me so I want to use the full name All right, so now I've created my certificate with the replacement strings that's going to auto pull in that information based upon um, the criteria. So now I want to just save this um, PDF to my desktop or wherever locally to my computer so that I can now upload this as a template into, um, into D2L. All right, so within D2L, I'm now going to go to my awards area under tools and resources, um, and I'm going to go ahead and create a new course award. So I'm going to add an award to the course, and I'm going to create a new one, and then I'm going to just walk through the process of, um, of creating one. So under award type, I want to make sure to choose certificate. I can make it available to all my courses or just my one particular course. Right now, I want to go ahead and make it available to all my courses. I can set a date of expiration, which I don't really want to do. I want to leave this open um, for, for all. Um, I, can up, I can upload an icon or, um, or choose an award icon, which is the badge icon. For right now, I'm just going to pick one because what I really want to show you here is the certificate template so instead of choosing from existing I want to actually upload a new one so I'm going to choose upload new template and again I want to pick this from my computer that I just created the one that I just created here and then I want to make sure that this information is filled out and now I'm able to save and close so I just now created the award and again the, the big thing here that is uh, the difference is I um, actually uploaded a certificate here rather than picked one and that's the one that I created. Alright, so now the step is to put in my um, learning conditions as to what they have to do to receive this. Um, so in that case, I would edit properties and I would create release conditions here. So um, if they you know, score a certain way on a certain quiz um, or whatnot, then they'll be able to earn this badge. So this is where I put in all those specifics for how they earn that badge. Now, um, you can go ahead and just manually uh, assign badges if you want to. If it's something that you ha are doing maybe midterm and you want to go back and assign it to people, um, or if they've done something outside of D2L that you want to assign them the certificate for, rather than putting a release condition on it, which is going to be very specific of they must have done this in D2L. Um, so you can uh, manually assign badges as well. So I'll go ahead and do that for this one just so that you can see. Um, and you would do that under class list awards you would pick the people that would be earning it um, and then you would choose to issue the award and then you would be able to pick from your list the awards to um, to provide so I'll give them this one and then I'll say And then I'll go ahead and issue it. So that's the process of manually issuing. Um, if you had a release condition on it, as soon as they met that condition, um, D2L would automatically issue it to them. So in this case, I'm just manually doing it. Um, so now what we can do is log in as one of these students and see their badge and their certificate. So as the student, they would go to Tools and Resources and then Awards. And then they would see a listing of all the ones that they've earned. They would click on the name of the, uh, the certificate that they earned and choose to generate certificate. And this would open up for them. And then it would automatically, you see, populate their name, the name of the course, and the date that they earned that award. Um, and again, that's because um, that you use the replacement strings. So from here, they can either print or download this to save, um, but that is how you can create your own certificate with replacement strings to populate um, specific information to use in D2L awards.